local heroes in helping victims of child abuse, child sexual abuse, neglect, and domestic violence. We are here today. Since 1980, the Rainbow Project has served 8,517 young children who have been traumatized by those issues. And joining me today is Cheryl Cato, the executive director of the Rainbow Project. On the end, we have Jessica Strong, and she is a board of directors member for the Rainbow Project, and Joshua Gilchrist, my dance partner and instructor at Tempo. So great to have all of you here. We've got a lot to get through. Cheryl, first, I want to just talk to you about this issue. You have been working on this your entire career, 33 years with the Rainbow Project. What's the biggest issue right now? Well, I think that the, um, although child abuse, domestic violence, sexual abuse is not um, just for certain socioeconomic levels, education, religions, but we are seeing the economy having further impact um, mm. and stress on families. And so we're also seeing young children, infants through 10 years of age that we specialize in working with, um, really experiencing multiple trauma. And we have the ninth annual Rumba for Rainbow coming up. Jessica, for people who haven't been, what does the evening entail this Friday? Oh, my goodness. It is a night of dancing. Um, there are many different fundraisers um, within, within the event. It, it'll just be, it'll be a great night. We're looking at um, our routine last year, Joshua, because we don't want to give any secrets away about what we're doing <laughs> this year. But explain why you love dance and, and would love to encourage people who haven't danced before to come to the event. It's, it's a different way of communication. Um, I feel like instead of talking, they find a different way to, you know, send a message, you know, to other people. And, you know, it's a great way to express yourself. So, you know, it's fantastic to share that with other people. And how do you feel about our routine? I love it. You know, I, I, I've seen everyone dance so far, and I'm oh. like, mm, there's going to be a little challenge, but I think we'll be great. So, it's yeah, so I'm much excited. fun, and the whole point is just to get together and to support everyone who's doing such great work at the Rainbow Project. Last year, the event raised $60,000. Yes. Want to just make sure that everybody knows the information. We've got a quick full screen to run through. It is this Friday, 7 p.m. to midnight at Varsity Hall, Union South. You can get tickets at the door. You can yes. go online and still um, get them online as Rumble well. Rainbow for Rainbow. We would love to see everyone there. We'll put more information about the work that's being done at the Rainbow Project and the event. If you go to NBC15.com, click on News Links. Thank you three for being here. You we'll see you Friday. Much. And we'll see you after this.